Studley. 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 Lads, welcome to another video. I was going to be joined by three other people, unfortunately. They couldn't make it today. Uh, Kian got run over by a truck. So that is great news. Um, yeah, he got run over by a truck. Ben got uh, hit by a trolley, which meant he broke his leg. So he will not be with us either. And um, that's when he's Regan. He got kidnapped in Sainsbury's. So we can't use any of them. And I've just had a shower. So, uh, yeah. Not great, is it? But um, you've still got me. And that, that's the most important thing. The CEO of Silly Fan TV is still here. And I will be talking about the season that has just been passed. And how well I think we did as a team um, over the duration of the 22 matches that we have been involved in. And if you do hear barking, it's not me. It's my bloody dogs. I may have given them some beer beforehand. Anyway, um... We carry on, put the start on the league position, we finished 19th in the end, 36 points, 11 wins, 3 draws, 8 defeats, not bad, especially when we lost like 7 in a row last season, um, yeah so we're, we're 19th in the league, so it's not it's not all bad, but um, definitely could be better if we didn't have Steve as the coach, I think uh, he talks to the wrong style of play, how to play out from the back, no we don't do that, we just go long, send it long, that's the best way of playing football in my opinion, um, anyway, Stratford finished in the top 10, that's added on bonus to my and the, uh, you know, they won two more games than us, but we don't need to think about that at all. Um, so yeah, 19th, not bad, but it could well be better. Anyway, let's begin with the first game that we played, then we played away to Compton Sky Blues, we beat them by 13-0, believe it or not, we actually won a game in double figures, and I'm not talking about Queen's Norton Kickers, I'm talking about Coventry. Yes, we did beat them. Thir Shut up! We did beat them 13-0. Go through the game, who the scorers were. Anyway, Callum Arnott scored four. Harry Bradley scored two. Josh got one, or no, that's known as Macca. Uh, Regan and Barnsley got three each as we hammered them 13-0. Really, really a, an overwhelming scoreline. When Coventry do have 50-odd players in their squad. A much-needed three points on the road as well. Not often that we actually win on the road, to be honest. I think uh, that's very rare that we have one on the road. Our away form is diabolical, a bit like Keegan's hair. On to the next one then, we played a week later at home to Rugby Town. Um, yeah, we, we we got the victory by 2-0 with, with 10 players as well, believe it or not. We did play with 10 players and still we beat Rugby Town. Goal scorers were Harry Bradley and Josh McEwen, although Josh McEwen's goal was a bit of a scabby one because uh, it, it was an own goal and he didn't want to say that it was an own goal. Um, but yeah, we won 2-0, that was all Gucci, and we're on to the next game with two wins out of two. Now this one was a difficult game, another week on, another away game, this time away in Shepshed. But um, yeah, away to Shepshed, yeah, and we, we lost 3-2. Um, twice took the lead through Clements' two wonderful goals, um, but then we lost 3-2. Shut up, you fat cow! Anyway, uh, Rossi Haywood, I don't know who he is, Kieran Oakes, don't know who he is, and Harry... Fair brother, uh, don't ask me about the surname, but we lost three two to him, and that was uh, that was pretty depressing. Um, pretty depressing. The change room, the ref was crap. Um, yeah, I nearly got booked for kicking the ball away uh, when it was full time. So uh, yeah, and do you want to die? Bloody hell, these dogs are idiots. Bloody idiots. Anyway, we 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 walked on to the next game a week later again, at home to FC Premier, and we won three one. Great. Um, goal scorers were uh, Maka, Harry and Phil Harry Bradley that is and uh, yeah pretty pretty easy win that was 3-1 uh, their goal scorer was Alexian Barnes is that right? Alexian oh, I can move on from that one then uh, we still won 3-1 then that was a great 3 points ignore my dogs they're being idiots I don't know if you can hear it or not with a mic but they are barking and it's really really annoying me so I might go in there with a shotgun and one pump them to the head. On to the next one then. Um, and now things start getting depressing. Um, we're at home to Wellingborough, yellow, and um, we lost 6-1. Um, nothing really can be said about that. And I don't really want to talk about the change room afterwards as well. Because that was pretty, pretty hazardous uh, with what went on in the change rooms after the game. But um, not a good game to be... Uh, not a good dressing room to be a part of. Especially if you're Elliot Giles. Um, anyway... 
goal scorer for us was Regan. Their goal scorers, like, two of them got braces in Khalil Demarge. I don't know, really. Harvey Brennan. Um, he also got two. Obviously, those two got two. Um, the guys who got one were Cairo Taylor and Iron Borata. No, Borta. Borta, that's the one. On to the next one then. We lost 6 1 to them. That was depressing. First, second defeat of the season, first at home. We then went away to Stratford Town, believe it or not. This didn't get much better either. We lost 7 1. Uh, Maka got our only goal of the game. Um, it was a great finish, man. So nice tap in from a tapping master. Their goals came from one of them got braces in Jamie Spears. Um, Joe Sykes got one. Leon Underhill got one. Uh, Jensen Gay got one. Thomas Price got one, and Josh Moriarty got one as well. So, uh, yeah, pretty uh, bad game for us to be involved in losing 7-1 to Stratford. And then things got hairy on the on the manager. Um, he was under a lot of pressure after this game. Uh, a lot of stick was on him uh, from the press, but um, he was given another chance against Wellingborough at Blue away. And guess what? We screwed it up even more. Anyway, we lost 4-1 to him. Pretty, pretty bad. I didn't see where our goal score was on there, actually. I believe it was Phil, though. It might have been an own goal, actually, but I think it was Phil yeah, who will be claiming it. They, One of their players got Bryce and George Herbert. Uh, Jude Lucas got one as well. So did Rico Fenzen, who got one as well. Anyway, on to the next player. So not, not player. Uh, on to the next game. We lost 6-3 to CS Colts. Again, it wasn't great. Our goal scores were Ben Tolly got one, and then Clements got the other two for the club. Um, for CS Colts, uh, one of them got a hat trick in Sade, MB, and the other one from Hamed Ojebajod. Um, don't ask me. Um, yeah, um, Rugan scored a known goal as well. Uh, nice one, Rig. If you guys could have saw that, then you would be pretty uh, pretty gobsmacked. I think I'm a bit shaken, to be honest uh, with you. The next player, next game. Sorry, I keep saying player because I'm a dumbass. Uh, next game, then Ben Tolley scored, as well as William Gregory, as we drew 1 1 with Newcastle Town. William Gregory plays for them, of course. Doesn't play for us, never heard of a William Gregory around here anyway. But uh, we drew 1 1, Ben Tolley with a goal for us. And we ended the run of three defeats in a row. So that was great to see and kept the manager in the game. For at least a couple more games, at least. Um, we lost the next game, though, at home. 3-0 uh, to Winslow United. Their goal scorers, uh, Timmy Ashello with one goal and then two goals for Curtis Brown as we literally got smacked. A good one around the chops. Uh, as we, we didn't really turn up in that game at all. It was, it was very poor. As my dogs are eating shit. Um, sorry for the bad language, but they're just scoffing poo you know it's just not what you want to see really from your dogs is it um, yeah they're eating poo anyway we lost 3-0 to him that was pretty depressing the manager got pretty restless as well after the game 3-0 well, after half time as well so that was pretty bad indeed and to the next game then we beat uh, sorry we lost to Solly or Moore's MR 2-1 our goal scorers Harry Bradley their goal scorers were Emaru Collab Cob Cobabi. Oh, bloody hell, why do you come up with these names? And then Calvin Cameron got the goal, but I'm pretty sure that was the Clements own goal. It wasn't him who scored. I'm pretty sure Clements did score an own goal um then. But we lost two one, another defeat on the cards. It's it's getting pretty repetitive now. It's uh defeat after defeat after defeat. It's a bit like uh, like Ipswich Town to be honest with you. Just losing every single game. But anyway we Last got a game against bottom of the league Tipton. Surely nothing can go wrong here. And it didn't, even though we did go behind after 20 minutes through Tommy Finnegan. That was pretty depressing. But then we got our goals back from Phil and Maka. And our last minute goal from Phil got us the three points away at Tipton. A massive, massive three points against such a great team. An absolute superb team. Really is a fantastic team, Tipton. We only just managed to beat them though. 2-1. Um, but uh, yeah, not great, was it? But uh, we got the job done in the end. Now, last game of 2018, we went up at home to Solio Lenjay. Doesn't have our goal scorer on here. Um, 
but I believe it was Callum Arnott who got the goal, but it doesn't show him scoring up on here. But so their goal scorer was Nathan Chamberlain, who delivered the goal uh, to give Solly and Jay an equalising goal as we drew 1 1 with them at home. Not a bad game, was it? I'm um, to 2019 where Sully Fancy really was originated back in 20, the start of 2019 where we really did start posting videos. We beat Alv Church 11 0. That's right, 11 bloody nil. Um, this was not the game we recorded. This was a, a league game, I think, um, where Calamana Calamar and Phil both got two. Barnsley got four. Harry Bradley, Brandon Clelford and Ben Tolly all got one. It's not a, it's not a sight you really see Brandon Clelford getting on the score sheet, but we'll move on from that. Double figures again for the second time this season. And I don't know what we've... I uh, don't know how we really did that, but next game, we went back to reality next game. Lost 4-0 away at Middleton, um, Mitchell, Shinley got two, and then Jacob Brand and Dan Baldwin both got one, so we, we lost 4-0, um, yeah, not great, but um, we can move on from that, can't we, we can move on, 4-0, um, bloody hell, what a scoreline, anyway, we're on to the next game then that I did record in the cup, we're at home to Alv Church where we're beaten by 2-0, Regan got both. Let me roll the clip for you right now. I mean, everyone is very concentrated. Well, Regan, that's a, a gesture that we do not want to see in the English game. Uh, presumably, he's on about the manager in Mark Isles. And it's all a bit of a scrap here at Studley. I thought I was watching football, not bloody boxing. Ben Tolley with the effort, and it's straight at the keeper. Move! And we haven't seen what's happening as a goal. For some reason, I couldn't see it, but uh, Regan has made it 1-0 in Salisbury. Sorry, Regan. And he uh, goes for the shot, but it's, uh, it's a poor one. And he runs off thinking he's uh, he scored, but really, he's only found the whole end. In what's wrong? Shouldn't have came off. So, it's the manager's fault now, is it? Yeah. Join him out. Yeah. Mark out. Every ball. Ooh, Dad. Mark out. What? Mark out. I have to say, but he redeems himself with this beautiful cross, yeah. apping good header by Regan Salisbury. So yeah, we know Clements in there, you know, we, we only just scraped the victory, um, so we should be pretty lucky, uh, you know, that he was only out for that game, because then we went away to Salport Swifts in Salport. This was also recorded, Caffey Hill got the goal um, for Stalport um, and Ben Tolley and Harry Bradley got the goals for us as we beat him by 2-1 away. Let's roll the clip. You know, I have to say my dogs could probably do better than that. Anyway, the ball is into the box and it's uh, headed only towards the back post and it's a half volley over the bar. Anyway, here's Barnsley through to Brothers and Harry Bradley makes it 1-0. Uh, what's happening here? It's 1-1. And Starport have equalised, and as you can tell, it is inevitable that they have equalised. And he uh, passes it back, and it's an absolute defensive shambles there. The ball is into the penalty area, and uh, Cowers uh, has just spilled it there, and he manages to gather the ball before anything comes of it. Anyway, Clements has been brought off. Brought off. Right, this is a shambles, an absolute shambles. How can you bring the best player of Stully off? It's gone out his uh, Phil's awful ball pass. But uh, Ben with the efforts and Ben with the goal. It is 2-1. Ben Trolley. Although Clements would have scored that, I think. <laughs> Harry Bradley gets angry and Harry Bradley... Falls to the floor. See yeah, another three points for the lads in blue. Um, obviously, that's the home kit right behind me. That's the away kit right behind me. So uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant, brilliant um, results. You know, two wins in the bounce. Uh, then we went away to Tamworth from the cup. Obviously, we have the clip for this one as well. Beaten three one. Barnsley, Ben, and Callum on the score sheet. Um, a kid called Harvey on their team got a goal as well. But uh, we beat them by three goals to one. Here is a clip. I am sick and fed up of people getting in the way. And that's right, the beanie man got in the way. But Les has gave away another penalty. Let's see if Carr can save it.
Well, we're losing to Tamworth, and that is catastrophically poor. He slips it through, and Bed Tolly's racing through. Will he miss? Will he score? Will he? Oh, it's a brilliant finish by Ben Trolley. And Tamworth um, were in front only for a few minutes as Studley have equalised. And it's Ben Trolley, the man who has dealt the blow to Tamworth. And, uh, there is no passion, there is no vision, there is no aggression, there is no insight in this football club. Nothing is there. What the hell is there in this football club? Tell me now. Plays it on through to Callum Arnott. It's still going to bubble, but Arnott finds the net. And it's 2-1. It's Callum Arnott. Mark's chuffed. And so we should be, because we've taken the lead for the first time this afternoon. Perhaps on towards James Barnes, and Barnes, he misses it. It's a shambles. How can you not score that? It's a brilliant pass by the main man again. What's going on there? Bit of a beef going on between Regan and then number 30 for running. That's a new left back that we've signed on loan until the end of the season, ready to come on. It's uh, all a bit of a shambles. Yeah, pretty enjoyable game then. We uh, we beat them 3-1 in the Cup through to the next round, which is absolutely great. We have a good chance of winning the Cup this year. That is fantastic. We went on to Pershaw. I don't have a clip for this one, so I'll just tell you. Ben Tolley scored from a Clements three ball, and then Keegan Isles scored from a corner. A corner. Keegan got a goal from a corner. Don't know what to say, really. Um... Not often that he scores goals, Keegan, but he, he scored today. Well, not today, against Pershaw. Um, we beat him by two goals, one away from home as well. So, fantastic. Bloody fantastic. That was an easy three points from us. Didn't record it. Their goal, goal was scored by uh, Stanley Kirby, I think that was. I just went off it for like a split second there. Let's just go back in. It was Stan Kirby. Stanley Kirby, um, who scored their goal there to give them a consolation goal. Anyway, we went away to we were at home to Hinksford in the in the cup game, the quarterfinals of the cup. This was a massive game. Their goal scorers were we lost four three. We have the clip, but their goal scorers were Numara, Rashad, Alex Jones, and James Fletcher, who got on the score sheet. Our goal scorers were Phil, Harry Bradley, and Regan. As we lost just about four three to them, when we were three 0 down, we came back to three three, and then we lost four three in the end. Um, but a great comeback by uh, Studley. Which got us the got us a bit of pride back, but still losing four three is not what you want to see anyway, and um, that's us knocked out the cup in the quarterfinal stages of the competition. So um, I didn't last long, did it? Um, anyway, and here comes Phil Still onto his right foot, goes for the shot and uh, just wide of the post. Here is Hinksford playing some good football. It's a lovely ball through. And here come Hinksford again. It's across into the penalty area. We leave it. And it's gone through to their number 11, who bags a goal off just six minutes on the clock. It's James Wynn, I believe, on the ball it is. And he manages to cipher one in towards their, one of their players. And here it comes. It's going to be a goal. It is a goal. We're 2 0 down after 18 minutes. It's all a bit of a shambles. And I'm disappointed. So, two goals in the space of just four minutes there. We are 3 0 down. In yeah. No, I thought we could you know, be so bad in the first half. I don't feel body's a keeper. And he's still got the ball on towards James. He tries to get back inside. It's come to Regan, though. And surely, and we have a goal on 30 minutes. And that's just our second shot in this game that we scored. Is what's going to happen here? Oh, Brennan's getting sold about four times there. Maybe we should, maybe we should just clear it. He tries to, but he is blocked. And now we win the back the ball in a dangerous area. Camera, move the camera, please. And uh, now it's on towards uh, Harry Bradley, who dinks it towards the goal. It's 3 2. Hey, well, well done, guys. So, um, great work, bro. We, we need to work a bit harder, guys. If we can, can we play out, let's play out from the back. You know, let's go long. And Harry Bradley slips it through. To Phil who's chasing this one down. He's still got the ball here, Phil. It's Phil and Phil 
finds an out there, you can't see it. It is 3 3. Definitely a stream of brown fluid coming from the rear of Les. <laughs> I don't know how you can give a free kick to them anyway, it's full time, 3-3, three, three. thank you for watching. Away to Solihull TC, wow, what a game this was, um, goal scores for us were Barnsley, uh, Harry Bradley and Phil, we were 3 0 up in that game, then they came back. Owen Watkins got the goal, and I uh, can't remember who else got the finish for the for their second one. Um, obviously, I do have the clip, but I don't know the name because it doesn't say it on here who got the second goal. So, uh, we we'll roll the clip like we did with the Hinkster game. Probably didn't say roll the clip, but you know, we rolled it anyway. And here is a Solio TC game. Hinks is up forward, it's headed by one of their players. Phil's in there, and Phil gets the opening goal of the game after eight minutes. What well, gets taken? It's a uh, Wow, wide of the post. Well, penalty awarded to us, and it should have been a red card. Wasn't given. Harry Bradley, though, took it in to make it 2 0 after 15 minutes. A great start to the game for us. Um, conditions were like my bum hole after um, a jar of beans. But absolutely trashing these team. Anyway, Jack takes the free kick quickly. Um, onto who? It's Calamano. He charges forward with the ball. There's Ben on the bench. His usual habitat. Ball is in anyway. Barnsley can't miss and he doesn't miss. It's 3-0. How is that a foul? What? How is that a foul? And they end up scoring from it. Mark is clearly not happy with Harry Fitz there, and their score from it is now 3-2, and it's all panic stations from here on in. The next game was a 4-4 home draw against Telford, two goals each for Barnsley and Phil, whilst uh, their goal scorers were Finnar Plant, Rubed Payton, Joseph Hubbard, and Reese Clayton, their goal scorers for Telford, as they drew 4-4 with us in that dramatic turn of events. Here is the game on screen for you now. What can he do with skills? Les out for absolute crumpets. There the ball's into the penalty area. He's unmarked to the back post and it's a goal for Telford. Here's Regan. Now it's Phil. Phil charges forward. Still it's Phil. It's Phil! And Phil makes it 1-1. One, one. Here is Phil again though. Phil on towards Barnsley and Barnsley Makes it 2-1, a quick turnaround for us at the moment. We've gone 1-0 down, but we have come back to lead by two goals to one. A great finish by James Barnes. There was a sweaty, and it was from about seven yards, so my dogs could have probably scored that. Anyway, we have another chance here, do we? Phil, and Phil makes it 3-1. After 24 minutes, we've uh, turned it around on its head, and it's 3-1. Hopefully, we can, we can still keep this three-goal or two-goal cushion with the three goals. Well, it had to happen, didn't it? Atrocious scenes here. And what do you know? We're 3 3. I can't believe this. We've scored. And the cameraman was too busy focused on Fitzy trying to get a ball that was pretty much stuck in the uh, in the depths of I don't know, I don't know what you what, what you call that um, Narnia maybe Fitz who who isn't even left footed anyway they score and it's four four this game was a four one 
home victory to Newport. It doesn't have that team on the screen for some bloody reason. But we beat them 4-1. Very, very easy results. Uh, goals from us from Phil, Barnsley, Ethan Clements and Ben Tolley. Ethan Clements did score. I didn't have the clip for this one. Didn't record it, but Clements did score. My ad. Um, we won by four goals to one. And um, fantastic, really. Absolutely fantastic result against Newport. There's another team on, on the screen, so I cannot read their goal scorers out. But not again, then a last away game of the season. We beat Townworth 2 1. Regan and Jack, obviously, with the goals. You pretty much saw that, though. And Connor Duke got their goal. Uh, but here is the clip of the Tamworth away victory. Tennis lead two. Well, that was a great cross by Ethan Clements, and that deserves recognition. And however, Dele plays with Ron Fraser, and uh, yeah, I can't see how that was Clements' fault really. Uh, it's, uh, Clements wins back the ball for the team yet again. Regan tries to play through to Phil. Phil's throwing goal. What can he do? Oh, he misses, but Regan, Regan scores. What a On to our last game, then a 4-1 home win to l &B Badgers. The goal scorers were Phil and Clements, who got one each in the end, and then George Skelton got two as well, coming off the bench. Uh, we got the clip for it, so I'll roll it in a minute, and their goal scorer was Will Davis. So let's roll the clip now against the Badgers. Uh, Clements did get the first goal and the cameraman didn't didn't record it so uh, yeah they had one bloody job to do and they didn't manage to do that and that was pretty heartbreaking because it was an absolute cracker of a finish and yet the cameraman couldn't even be bothered to record it I think two you know, we were off pretty late probably stuck in bed or something but we managed to get a replacement video which is very much identical to the one that Clement scored it's uh, rolling the clip now uh, from outside the box oh what a finish it uh, really is identical to one that Clements found the net with. Uh, the ball's into the box. Keeper flaps it though. Clements before Clements and then retrieves it here. Lays it back towards George Skelton. And George shoots and scores. Uh, I'll never get over that image anyway. Harry Fitz concedes a penalty. Everything's going on in the penalty area. It's a penalty to the away side. Harry Fitz is on the floor, distraught with his actions. Penalty's going to be taken, and he scores. What can Phil do from the spot? Come on, son. Punched away, Elliot on towards George Skelton, oh what a finish! So that's a wrap on all the games so far this season, um, fantastic season in total, um, you know really a, a tale of two halves, you know, wasn't great uh, in, in, in 2018, I think since, um, since the turn of December I think we've played 13 and won 10 of them. Um, so that's fantastic and we played I think 12 earlier on and only won like four uh, games um, yeah we only won like four games in like 12 uh, in 2018 so that was great um, at home form we played 12 games won six drew two lost four I think we played 13 though and won seven because um, different account of the LNB one in our way total 13 matches played seven matches won one drawn and five lost pretty similar to the home one and overall uh, we played 25 games, won 13, drew 3 and lost 9. We would have, would have won 14 out of 26 if it would have counted. I think that is right. Sorry, I think that is right. Um, anyway, don't listen to me. Just just don't listen to me whatsoever, really. Um, glad my dogs have shut up as well now because I would have had to cook them and eat them for dinner if they would keep, you know, um, barking. And we'll go through the player stats. Callum Arnott started 17, started on the bench six times, scored seven goals. Barnsley started 16 of them, um, was on started bench seven times and scored 12. Phil scored 10 goals in 25 starts, started none on the bench, funny enough. Uh, bit of favouritism going on there, I may add. Uh, Harry Bradley started 24 games and scored nine goals. 
with none on the bench. Again, favouritism at its peak. Uh, Brandon Clough has started 21 games, started on the bench four times and scored one goal, one fluky goal from across. Clements scored tw uh, six goals in 21 starts with three on the bench. Elliot started the game, started games four on the bench and had 18 starts. Uh, Jack started on the bench just two times, scored one and started 22 games. Keegan started on the bench once. Again, favouritism at its bloody peak. Um, he scored one and then started the 23. Uh, Kai Masters started 10 games. Of course, he was missing for injury for most of the season and only started on the bench once. Josh McCluskey started two and started two on the bench. Uh, no goals scored uh, for him or Kai or Elliot didn't score anyway. Uh, Josh McCluskey started uh, just two, uh, sorry, not Josh McEwen. Started 16 games, started on the bench seven times, scored five. Callum Reese started 15 games, didn't start on the bench once and left towards the end of the season. Regan Sainsbury uh, started 16 games, scored eight goals, was on the bench five times uh, throughout the season. Um, Started the bench five times throughout the season. George started just the one, uh, started no game, sorry, started on the bench once and still scored two goals, which is more than Brandon and Keegan and Jack. Um, yeah, anyway, Ben Tolley started 17, started on the bench three times and scored seven goals. And Harry Wolf at Simmons didn't score, started, started 11 times, started on the bench eight times in the end. Yeah, that's a wrap for the video then. This is a season review. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want to do another podcast again or whatever. It's whatever you want to call this anyway. If you want to do it again, I've, I mean, I've got the, the decoration behind if you want to do it in the near future. But uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. And don't forget to subscribe to Study Fan TV. Um, we really need to hit 200, 200 subs. Um, you know, if you could please donate £5 a month to the, to the course so we can buy subscribers to keep ahead of our nearest rivals fitty and fatty that'd be really really fantastic of you